for the men who have earned the Top Gun patch. Their real task is just beginning. Top Gun develops a student into a mature tactician. Hey guys, welcome to another Heavy Metal Diecast video. We have another aircraft from Century Wings here, Wings of Heroes edition. It is 172nd scale diecast and this is an F-14 Tomcat. And I love an F-14 Tomcat and Century Wings make some fantastic aircraft. And um, I picked this up for 200 bucks, delivered to my door brand new and I thought that was a bargain. So I pulled the trigger quickly on that purchase off a seller on eBay. And uh, this is an F-14A Tomcat from the United States Navy Fighter Weapons School, or as most of you will know it as Top Gun. So no doubt you've all seen the movies. Um, you know, I'm a, you know, everyone's a Maverick fan, but you know, poor old Goose, I miss Goose. But uh, no doubt... Um, you also are aware this is a training school based in California to teach Navy pilots air combat tactics. This F-14A is an aggressor or what's, uh, what's known as an adversary aircraft flown by instructors. And uh, these are typically painted in schemes to uh, reflect opposing nations' aircraft and uh, in mock, mock combat battles. So in 1995, this particular F-14 was painted in a blue spl splinter paint scheme to represent an SU-35 flanker of the Russian Air Force. And it uh, it does come up really nice. That that blue paint scheme is, it, it does, re it really suits it. I think it's it's an awesome color scheme on this. But it is no good in this box. We gotta get this uh, aircraft out and have a real good look at it. We'll do that right now. So this is it straight out of the box. What I will show you though is the box. Um, obviously keep this flap open when you are removing it because otherwise the packet does get caught in this. And I will show you it. They make use of the bottom of this box fantastically. It has all the ordnance instructions and placement and uh, some really great detail in there. And I, I think that is a real good use of the bottom of the box. And I reckon that's uh, pretty smart. Very smart, Sentry Wings. All right, let's get this aircraft out. Uh, obviously, there's a little tie down here, so we will undo that and uh, quickly get this open. And with those tie downs off, we can quickly remove this. It does have like a collector's card there on the inside there, stuck to the lid. There is only a limited run of 800 of these, so uh, get them while you can. And uh, they all are individually numbered, so you do have that uh, little bit of special feeling when you get one. So it does have a couple of pilot figures here. And, um, and the modules for uh, dropping the landing gear in, so all straightforward. And then obviously the uh, gear bay doors if you want to ha have it in in-flight position. And obviously some hard points to mount for, for those Phoenix missiles too to put underneath the aircraft. It actually has some little um, sort of engine tips as well if you want to have it like with afterburners on. Or, or you can you know, have that option if you want to change those around. And it does come, as you can see, it does have a little stand here. Um, which does obviously need some assembly. Very similar in style to those um, Forces of Valor stands, I think, so by the looks of that. But what we want to do is have a look at the important part, and that is the aircraft. And we'll get this uh, aircraft straight out of that box. Oh, and it comes out beautifully too. I love it when a model comes out beautifully. So one of those little engine nozzles has sort of come off. We'll just place that on there. Oh yeah, I love it. <laughs> now I I do love my F14s, so, and this this paint scheme is awesome. This is fan freaking tastic. Whew. Yeah, definitely love this rendition. It is a magical one. Uh, the first thing we've got to check. You know what we've got to do? We'll check that swing wing. And it, it does does swing, so obviously it's um it does move in sort of a cog sort of motion, as you can see, um, and does close nicely. So that's fast fast flight, and then uh, I think um, it it does it does. I mean, it is a little bit it is brand new, so it is a little bit stiff. But I I think the movement itself it doesn't sound clunky or cheap inside there. It sounds um, sounds nice and. The, the cogs inside sound nice, and it does it does manipulate really easily. And I think it's uh this is this is a beast. I love it. This looks awesome. We'll have a look at some close details. Have a look at those panel lines there. Nice, 
Beautiful. The nose, it does have a little bit of an oily residue here and there on there, but that is, that is fairly normal with a lot of brand new uh, die cast models. I think this is, this is freaking awesome. I love it. <laughs> I really like this paint scheme. I, I do have the other Top Gun one as well. I am yet to open that one yet. That is in the uh, other paint scheme, which is the um, sort of the yellows and browns. But I, I think this is, this is awesome. I love it. And uh, we'll see if we can get this cockpit open. Try and afford you some detail. I'll try and zoom in for you. And try not to wobble too much. The details in there, they are shit hot. <laughs> they are fantastic. I think that is great. Uh, you will not be disappointed at all. So if you can get your hands on one of these, you will be really, really happy. <laughs> <laughs> because I am stoked. Um, I am pretty happy about that. I'll zoom back out. And I, I, I think this is awesome. So what we'll do is we'll um, turn it inverted and uh, do a bit of Maverick here and um, have a look underneath. And it does present really well underneath. Those panel lines are absolutely gorgeous. It is really well detailed. Um, from what I can see there, there is uh, obviously it might be magnetic, so it's got those little little parts in there. So when you do drop those modules in, they should stick via magnet. I am assuming going by those shiny little tabs inside each wheel wheel bay area. Yeah, no, I think this is great. I can't wait to uh, set this up fully. And speaking of that. Let us kit this aircraft out completely. And here we have it all kitted out. Wow. <laughs> it's, it was really easy to do. Everything just dropped uh, into place. Um, there was no stress, no hassles. Look at the detail on those Phoenix missiles. So it is a nice complement of Phoenix missiles. Some external fuel tanks. Uh, a couple of sparrows, a couple of sidewinders there. The actual wheels, they do roll. And the actual wheels, they're, the, the tyres are actually a rubber. So it is a little bit of a rubber sort of on, on there as well. So I think this comes up a treat. Look at it. Look at that detail. Fantastic. That is awesome. It does come with another Arista hook that if you want to have it in the down position. And as I said, as long as those um, engine nozzles as well, if you want to have it, uh, you know, in afterburner when you have it in flight mode. And uh, these these do manipulate as well. We'll open the wings up. Have a look like that. Oh, I could just stare at this for ages, mate. <laughs> Doos will uh, flip it over right side up. Gently and try not to break anything. <laughs> And that's the beast. This is definitely a, a, a gorgeous looking aircraft. I love it. I think it's fantastic. And hopefully you guys do as well. It does have some great lines on it. And it is really well made. All right, well, I'll, uh, I'll put this uh, big old bird on the deck gently. And um, I think it's, uh, yeah, I've said it plenty of times. <laughs> I've said it a number of times. I think this is absolutely fantastic. All right, look, I'll, I'll wind it up. This is this is getting, getting a bit long, and I'm going to need some time alone with this. <laughs> All right, guys, look, I'll wind this up. So once again, this is from Century Wings. It is a fantastic rendition of the F-14A, and this is the one from the United States Navy Fighter Weapons School, or Top Gun, and it is the 1995 version that was done in the uh, Blue Splinter paint scheme to represent the Sequoia uh, 35 flanker, and there are only a limited 800 pieces worldwide, so if you can grab one, grab one. You, you will not be disappointed, I tell you what you will definitely be in love with this. So I will take some happy snaps of this and chuck it on at the conclusion of the video, which is winding up right now. So you can check out this big bird without these fat-ass sausage fingers in the way. Check out the photos in uh, better detail. 
All right, guys, thank you so much. I hope you enjoyed the video. Um, if you did, throw us a like. That would be fantastically appreciated. And, you know, the drill, if you have not already done so, um, subscribe to the channel. That would be appreciated as well. You take care of yourselves and uh, have a fantastic rest of your day. Cheers, guys.